This video is brought to you by OTM365 via the World Designs Electronics and Octopart, the fastest search engine for electronic parts. I have made several videos on the DF robot, TDS or AC sensor or electrical conductivity sensor. I have used it with Arduino for water quality monitoring and I explained in detail what is TDS or total dissolved solids and I also explained what is EC or electrical conductivity and how to calculate the TDS and EC values. I have also used the same TDS or EC sensor along with a pH sensor and DS18B20 waterproof digital temperature sensor for building a hydroponic system. I have also used the same TDS sensor and an IoT based water quality monitoring system using ESP32, Wi Fi plus Bluetooth module, and the Blink application. Now you might be thinking if I have already used this sensor in some basic and advanced level projects then why am I making this video? Well there are some reasons. Number one, I have never used this TDS sensor with ESP8266 and moreover lots of guys have been asking me if they can use this sensor with the Node MCU ESP8266 instead of using ESP32. So today I will be using Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module. Number two, the second reason I'm making this video is that the older version of the Blink or Blink Legacy is now closed for new user registrations, and it's going to be completely shut down on December 31, 2022, and you will no longer be able to use the older version of the Blink application. So in this video, I'll be using the new Blink 2.0. If you are a beginner and you have never used the Blink application, then I highly recommend you should watch my getting started video on the new Blink 2.0. I will add a link in the description. Number 3. Previously I used 16 into 2 LCD, while this time I will be using this I2C supported SSD 1306 or LED display module. Anyway, after watching this video, you will be able to use your EC or TDS sensor with the Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module along with the DS18B20 waterproof temperature sensor and the new Blink V2.0. Here is my prototype model. I have connected the TDS sensor, SSD1306 or LED display module and DS18B20 temperature sensor is for the circuit diagram which I will explain in a minute. Anyway, let's go ahead and kick off our practical demonstration and afterward I will explain everything else. Ultium 365 lets you hold the fastest design reviews ever. Share your designs from anywhere and with anyone with a single click. It's easy. Leave a comment taking your teammate and they will instantly receive an email with a link to the design. Anyone you invite can open the design using a web browser. Using the browser interface you are able to comment, markup, cross probe, inspect and more. Comments are attached directly to the project, making them viewable within Ultim Designer as well as through the browser interface. Design, share and manufacture all in the same space with nothing extra to install or configure. Connect to the platform directly from Ultim Designer without changing how you already design electronics. Ultim 365 requires no additional licenses and comes included with your subscription plan. Get real-time component insights as you design with Octopart built into Ultium 365. Octopart is the fastest search engine for electronic parts and gives you the most up-to-date part data like specs, data sheets, gate models, and how much the part costs at different amounts etc. right in the design environment. So you can focus on your designs. Links to the Ultium Designer. Ultium 365 and Octopart are given in the description. Right now the Node MCU ESP8266, my cell phone and the laptop all are connected to Wi-Fi. It entirely depends on you if you choose to use the same Wi-Fi network or different Wi-Fi networks. Anyway right now you can see the TDS, EC and temperature values on the OLED display module and also on the Blink IoT mobile application and blink.cloud dashboard.
I'm sure by now you might have got an idea of how does this system work. So without any further delay, let's get started. The components and tools used in this project can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. The VCC and ground pins of the I2C supported SSD1306 OLED display module are connected with the 3.3V and ground pins of the Nodimsium module. While the SCL and SDA pins of the OLED display module are connected with the Node MCU ESP8266 pins D1 and D2. The VCC and ground pins of both the sensors DS18B20 and TDS sensor interface board are connected with 3.3V and ground pins of the Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module. The data wire of the DS18B20 is connected with the digital pin D2 and the analog output pin of the TDS or EC sensor interface board is connected with the analog pin A0 of the Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module. On the left side, you can see a 5V regulator power supply based on the LM7805 voltage regulator. This is my design development board, but it's okay if you don't have this. You can do all the connections on a breadboard, but if you want to make the same development board, then you can download the PCB Gerber files from the article. Now let's go ahead and start with a blink. Open your Blink.Cloud dashboard and follow the same exact steps. There is nothing complicated and if you still face any issues, then you can watch my getting started video on the Blink V2.0. Now we have to use the template ID, device name and authorization token in the programming. Copy the template ID and paste it next to the Blink template ID. Repeat the same steps for the device name and authorization token.
You can download this entire project code from our website electronicclinic.com. I will provide a link in the description. Finally, you can click on the upload button. You will also need to install all the required libraries. For this, you can watch my previous videos on Node MCU, ESP8266, Blink V2.0, DS18B20 temperature sensor, and SSD1306 or LED display module. I will add links to all the related videos in the description. Anyway, you can see the code has been uploaded and now let's start with the Blink mobile application. Blink mobile application setup is exactly the same as explained in my getting started video on the Blink V2.0. The only difference is that this time I'm using 3 gauges. My Blink mobile application is also ready and now let's watch the ESP8266 and TDS sensor based IoT water quality metric system in action. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.